So with Hurricane Milton going on actually today, it's crazy to think that you could be without power for weeks. But not me, because I have a Cybertruck, which can actually power my entire home. Check it out. Mrs. X, my wife's on the inside, so uh, hopefully she's not doing anything important. Hey, my name is Mr. X. Welcome to the Extreme Channel. We are giving away $1,000 statues to you guys. If you want to know how to win one, stay tuned for later in the video. Hey everyone, welcome to the Extreme Channel. My name is Mr. X and today we're going to talk about how my Cybertruck can power my entire home. This is especially prevalent because today I'm filming this when Milton hits Florida. Now thankfully I don't live anywhere near there. I live a mile up in the sky from there. First I'm going to apologize about the sound. It's really windy today. I'm outside. The lighting's kind of bad. But as you can imagine, we have to go in very different places. So this video is for two people. Number one, it's those people who bought a Cybertruck and are trying to figure out how this works because Tesla isn't very forthright with information. And number two, it's for people who are just curious, what is bi-directional charging? Does your Cybertruck really power your house in the event of an outage? So the answer is yes. So I'm going to walk through the entire process about how it really works because there's some confusion. So really quick, some basics on bi-directional charging. What bi-directional charging is, is it consists of four things. First and foremost, you have to have a home. Kind of makes sense. Second, you have to have a Cybertruck. Third, you have to have Tesla's universal charger, which also charges your Cybertruck. We'll talk a little bit more about that. And fourth is the power wall or power share. So this gateway right here is actually what talks to your home and talks to this, which draws the power from your truck. So all of these are additional things. However, depending on when you bought your Cybertruck and what version it is, it may be included. So first I want to talk about that process. If you bought a Cybertruck, which is the Foundation Series, so that is the initial release, it's $20,000 extra, dollars. it comes with a number of things. I've talked about it in a few different videos, including self-driving, where it actually drives itself. You can check out this video right here. It comes with a portable charger that charges about half percent an hour, and a number of other things. But but in regards to this video, it comes with the $2,500 voucher that you can use to buy a universal charger, which has the basic use of charging your Cybertruck at about 10 to 15% per hour, or any other electric vehicle for that matter, and you get that power share gateway wall. So that is all free if you bought the Foundation Series. The way it works is after you pick up your Cybertruck, you wait anywhere from one hour to 60 days, and they send you an email with a voucher code, and you go ahead and you purchase it online. Now, initially, they were only sending it to certified electricians to install. However, both were shipped to my house. The charger was shipped in about 30 days. The power share was shipped in about 60 days. Then the next thing you have to do is you have to get a certified installer. And there's two routes to do this. Tesla used to have a list of certified installers on their website. I put the link below. It's kind of hard to find now because now they use a third party called Qmerit. Qmerit is a third party who coordinates between Tesla and the installers. Unfortunately, using Qmerit, they market up outrageous prices. I went through Qmerit and I got quotes anywhere from 5,000 to 9,000 to install this and the PowerShare. Well, I dug really deep into Tesla's website and I found their old list of certified installers, so I contacted them directly, not through Qmerit. And I was able to find a local one who I'll also put their description below because they did a fantastic job and they only charged me 2,500 bucks. Now, the great part of that is, is since I bought the Beast, the highest end edition, the tri-motor, I actually was eligible for a $4,000 credit towards an eligible installer. So the install itself was completely covered. Or was it? Apparently Tesla was giving this credit up until May 20th. I configured my vehicle on May 21st. So I'm still fighting that battle. I'm not sure how it's going to end, but I will let you guys know in a future video. So that was kind of the entire process. They came out and they installed it in one day. I'm gonna show you exactly what they installed and I'm gonna show you how it works. And now, anytime my power goes out at my house, which to be quite honest is very rare, ironically, it happened the day before they were coming to install it for about six hours and we hadn't had a power outage in years, my Cybertruck will power my house. Now, does it power my whole house? No. I'm gonna show you some things outside. It's a little windy, so I'm gonna talk about it in here so the sound is better but I'm fortunate to live in a very large house. It's about 7,000 finished square feet. So the power truck itself doesn't have the capability to charge all of that. I essentially had to pick six breakers that were really important to me in a power outage. So for me, I chose the Wi-Fi, 
I chose the room I watch sports in. I chose the kitchen. I chose one of the heaters, one of the furnaces. We have two furnaces and two ACs. The ACs would take up too much room, both of them, so we elected to leave them off. I chose the main upstairs area. We have four bedrooms upstairs, and this main area is kind of like a loft area, so it would shine light into all those areas. And then the unfinished part of my basement is also included, which has freezers and things of that nature. I couldn't include my basement because it was on a separate breaker panel, which you were going to see the main one in a moment. So you have to choose what's most important to you. I've watched a few other videos where they were fortunate or unfortunate that their house was small enough they could actually power the whole thing. And according to the Tesla readouts, which you're going to see on my phone, it'll actually charge all those areas for up to two days. So I will have a kitchen, a refrigerator, heater, Wi-Fi, and of course my family can Netflix and chill. So that's kind of a summary of not only how I got it, but essentially what it is. But let's really look at it. Here, I'll show you. So we're gonna start with the universal charger. Now, this is necessary for the power system because it works in conjunction with it. Now, the nice thing about Tesla's universal charger, and the electrician told me this, is he loves these. These are the absolute best there are on the market because it has an accessory that can charge any electric vehicle, Tesla or not. So that's kind of cool. And again, it charges at about 15% per hour. So for some reason, I go on a long road trip and my uh, vehicle is depleted it'll recharge in about six, seven hours plugged in each night. You can see it's actually plugged in right there. Now, to install this, they needed to do another circuit panel. Now, I am not a electrician, so this may not even be a circuit panel, but they installed all of this. And where I live, our main circuit breaker is actually on the exterior of the home. It's the other side of this wall, which we're gonna look at in a moment. And I apologize, there's gonna be some wind. Now, with the universal uh, charger here, it'll essentially have a few different modes. Mode number one is blue. This means it's on pause. That's because I don't charge my vehicle during the day, even if it's plugged in, because power rates, uh, energy is more expensive then. It's still very minimal cost, uh, but I have it set on a timer where it only charges at night. The reason I have it plugged in, normally it's in the garage, is simply the fact that if my power goes out, this actually kicks on the backup system immediately. So right now the power, if you will, is flowing from the main circuit breaker to that through the power share which you're gonna see in a moment, to that box, to the universal charger, and to the truck. When there's a power outage, which you saw, and we're gonna look at again, it totally switches directions, hence the name of bi-directional charging. So it'll flow from the truck to the universal charger, and you'll actually see when it's charging the truck, it's green and it goes down, it starts going the other way, it starts going up to this box, and then let's take a look at the outside. So we are on the other side of that wall. This is where the pipe comes out and they had to run it to my circuit breaker and the installed power share. So here's the power share. You can see the conduits run up to that and then that connects to my main circuit breaker. Apologize for the wind. So this is weatherproof, so it has no issues outside. You can open it up, but there's really no need to unless there's an issue going on. And that's how the flow works. So let's actually turn off the power and see what happens. So for those uh, electricians that are interested, so they actually created a slot here for the Tesla sub panel, which is what flows out. But uh, we're gonna turn off the service and then we're gonna go run and check. And Mrs. X, my wife's on the inside, so uh, hopefully she's not doing anything important. And, you see right there that it is now flowing into the home. So, and you can see right here that the discharge limit is 15%. So that means it'll shut off when I only have 15% left battery in my truck. And you can adjust that setting, of course. But you see that the energy is actually flowing from the truck into the house. The truck's currently charged to 78%. And let's go inside and look at the areas that are functioning. So as you can see, the kitchen is still working. Uh, the lights are on. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't tell you I was turning the power off. Uh, and then also we have over in this little nook here, we have not only our Wi-Fi still functioning, but we have our ring. So our ring is actually not only our exterior cameras and our front doorbell, but it's also our alarm system to the house. So to us, those are crucial. And then this is the area that I like to hang out in. We can watch TV. We have complete power in here. And then, like I said, there's a, uh, some areas in the basement, the unfinished part that has freezers and food. And then, of course, our main fridge works as well. And then upstairs so we can get around. And we also have a number of other things. We have portable lights that charge via USB. We can charge our phones. 
um, a lot of different ways where we can actually be very comfortable when anything's happening. And as you're looking at this huge statue right here and you're wondering what the hell is this, just check out some of the other stuff on the rest of my channel. I'm a big collector of memorabilia. So really quick, there's one other thing I wanted to check is make sure my smoker still works because I think it's on the same circuit and it absolutely is. That's awesome. So that is how the Cybertruck powers the entire home with the PowerShare Gateway. If you have any questions, throw those down in the comments below. I read every single comment and you could also win a statue with that comment. As we try to grow this channel, we like to reward you guys for watching and subscribing. So because of that, every 5,000 milestone when it comes to subscribers, we give away a couple thousand dollars worth of statues. We've actually given away over 20 statues. To win one was easy. First, you gotta be subscribed to the channel. You'll get bell notifications when videos drop. Each video that drops, you wanna make a comment on those videos. We pick a random video, we give away statues. Based on a comment, you can say whatever you want. The more videos you comment on, the higher your chances are to win. Hey, thank you so much for tuning in. Different video, hopefully you learned something. Gotta turn it back on because I'm sure my wife is screaming. Uh, has to watch your soaps. No, that's not true.